Okay, so these are my day ones, volume, uh, <clears throat> volume trades. Let's see which ones will hold up. We're going to look at, oops, we're going to look at the daily chart. So I'm just going to bring that over here so you can see it. But we're just going to go through some of these. Um, not a day one. I had volume, but didn't finish well. Stitch fix had a had a good gap open. Uh, not in it. Didn't close well. Let's see here. AUPH. I was in this for a little bit. This could be considered a day one. Um, just pretty extended. So bless you, Hunter. Um, could be a day one. Just kind of erratic. Did not take that one. Same trade. And they, they keep on coming up on the volume scanner. Obviously, there's a reason. I was in this one yesterday. Got out today for, I don't know, about 175 bucks. Nothing there. Walk. That one looks pretty good. I will let's see if I can. There you go. I put the heart on that one. That one looks good. Um, no, this would be considered a more like a day three right here because that would be your day one with a volume push off the 10 day moving average. No. PCG, that would be your day one right there. Um, could have bought it right, probably right there would have been your day one for confirmation. And you would have made a few bucks on that one, but I did not take that. I wasn't in that one. VR, not in this one. Okay, so I'm going to, so that would have been your day one yesterday in TGTX. We did take this one yesterday. You can see the big volume spike, big push up. Derm, that would have been your day one. So let's kind of look at, and I can give you this layout. So if this is really confusing to you, I can coach you through. So I'm going to go through some of these. Uh, this would be a day one on this one, a gap up with volume. This would be a day one right here, volume. Base would be a day two. They're downstairs, Hunter. Chewy, that would be a day one with volume. Took that one. I did take this one. This was a day two. Uh, held up really well. Um, that's a good one. Um, these are not trade recommendations as of right now. So if you're listening to this, do not take these right now. Um, let's see here. Um, probably a day two in this one, because this would be your day one. Be a tough one to see, but this had huge confirmation here today. Could be a day. This is more like your day one right here, like we talked about earlier. Um, was in this one. This could be a day one right here. And this looks fantastic. Just a cheap stock, right? So, I mean, you don't know what it's going to do. Um, day one right here. Looks good. This would be a day two right here. CEM. This would be a day one. Had more volume than the, uh, the down volume on this day. This would be a definitely a day one right here. Day one means I'm in the trade. This is the day that I get in the trade. This is my entry. Tesla could be a day one exactly. Day one might have been yesterday. Tesla's up. This would have been your day one. Three days ago, I'm in this one. Still, this would be a day three trade. 
APLS, balance out the 50 day or the 200 day moving average of the black line with a decent volume. See what happens there. Collegian. Q. Uh, day one, but no volume. So a little, uh, I'm a little scared about this one. I'm going to actually get this one. Kern. Where was your day one on this one? Kern, that was easy to see right here. Right, boom. And then it came back. And it's been going up. I mean, look at that trade. That's a that's a five dollar trade to ten dollars. It's a hundred percent gain. NXTC, obviously a day one right here, but is that one of those crazy moves. So it came back, and then it started. That would have been your day one right here. This candle, and right now it's thirty seven to fifty three in a matter of about a week. So I mean, these moves are out there. So if we look at the top percentage gainers, we're looking at 73% today, 18% here, 18% here, 17% here. Um, that would be, I think, BXC, yeah, see that was um, uh, hard, uh, light. So that'd be your, this, I mean, this had a gain of 17% in one day. So, I mean, how many of these would you need in your portfolio to honestly make your lifetime? <laughs> so, anyway. This is Jeff signing off. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and we'll, we'll, we'll end there. If I can figure out how to end this.